What's up YouTube, this is Atticus from The Complete Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at Coinbase stock. So a quick summary on the Coinbase news this week. France has officially given Coinbase a virtual asset service provider's license, which is basically a green light for Coinbase to operate cryptocurrency services in France. So it's nice to see Coinbase's international expansion plans coming to fruition. Now moving into the charts, Coinbase stock is just a moving freight train at the moment for the short term. Just a quick recap for the new people, Coinbase stock is breaking out of Wyckoff accumulation schematic number two. We're in phase D, forming an SOS, which stands for sign of strength. Our long-term targets for Coinbase stock still span between $430 and $2,156. This week, Coinbase stock did hit our red 61.8% Fibonacci retracement at $158, and so far, the bears have not shown up yet. We still stand by what we said last week that the best decision at the moment is to either hold on to your shares or take a little bit of profit off the table to protect your initial capital. We still believe that the worst decision at the moment is to FOMO buy right now. Taking a look at the chart, Coinbase stock is trading at a previous support area back in early 2022. So it would make logical sense that previous support should flip into current resistance. There will be buying opportunities in the future, just not at the moment. If you've been accumulating Coinbase shares this whole entire year, just sit tight and enjoy the ride. Try not to pay Uncle Sam too much short-term capital gains tax. Moving into some indicators, taking a look at the RSI, we can see bearish divergences on the daily time frame where the price of Coinbase stock is making a series of higher highs, but the RSI is printing a series of lower highs. Taking a look at the MACD on the 4-hour time frame, we can see bearish divergences on both the signal line and the histogram, indicating that momentum is slowly declining. These aren't official topping signals, just indicators that suggest that the rally could be coming to an end. Now, we haven't talked about Fibonacci rings on this channel for a few weeks now. Just a quick recap, Fibonacci rings are just an indicator that volatility is on the horizon. Back in June of this year, we crossed a Fibonacci ring and we pumped 146%. Just a few weeks ago, we crossed another Fibonacci ring and Coinbase stock has pumped over 87% so far. The next Fibonacci ring won't be until February of 2024, and hopefully this next ring sends Coinbase stock to near all-time highs. As we can see, the next Fibonacci ring also coincides with Coinbase earnings, and we all know that earnings is a high volatility event. I am anticipating a huge surge in transactional fees from retail investors in the next earnings report as a result of this most recent cryptocurrency rally. Closing things off with the Coinbase against Bitcoin valuation, we have hit our red Fibonacci target area as of today. The long-term picture remains intact for the bull markets. The Coinbase against Bitcoin valuation has pushed past the supply trend line, breaking out of a bullish falling wedge and a bullish inverse head and shoulders pattern, along with a rising three methods on the monthly time frame. Should the Coinbase against Bitcoin valuation continue to push higher, this just simply means that Coinbase stock will continue to outperform Bitcoin. I know everyone is FOMOing in right now, and I'd really suggest to keep your emotions intact. The time to accumulate was a few months ago. Now is just the time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the holidays. Like I said, there will be buying opportunities in the future, just not right now. Okay, so that's my analysis on Coinbase stock for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.